Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another Fortnite video. Today I'm going to be showing the best drop spots for Arena. This is this includes solos and trios. Now I'm going to be doing this in Battle Lab, so I will have 100% chest spawns. But in game and in Arena, you're only going to have 50 to 75%. So if you guys see really good floor loot, then land on it instead of risking it for a chest inside a house. Land on floor loot before chest spawns. That is key this season. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace. Alright guys, so for the first drop spot, there's a sentinel graveyard. It's basically a gra graveyard made up of these broken robots. And these broken robots have chest spawns in their head. Every single one will have a chest spawn, or at least a potential chest spawn. And, you can, and their hands have boosters that you can use to boost around and move around to loot quickly. And they also have a little bit of floor loot. This place is does have a lot of trees and a lot of bricks, so you can easily farm 500 and 1000 bricks. But for metal, you're gonna need to rotate out and try and find a good metal spot. Uh, so do bear in mind, before you land on the head for the chest, I would recommend you guys look for the floor loot. I am in battle lab, so I'm I'm getting 100% chest spots, right? So you can use your hands for uh, boosting around. Alright guys, so once you're done looting this area, what you want to do is use these boosters and rotate out, go to that little bridge area, go to that little bridge, and get whatever loot is left, if nobody landed there, then get whatever loot is there, and you want to get in the boat, go down to the river, and blow up as many fishing holes as you can. Whatever you can find in the river, or you can rotate, try and rotate to authority, try and get more fish, because blowing up fishing holes with the boat this season gives you everything inside. That's why boats are key this season. You want to use them and exploit them as much as you can. Alright guys, so for spot number 2 we got Risky Reels. This is my personal solo and trio drop spot. The way I loot it is I land on this house on the roof and I expect a chest. If I don't get the chest, I drop down and I pick up whatever floor loot is right on this balcony that I just dropped down to. From there I go inside, get, get that floor loot, loot this chest by breaking the, the bottom table. Farm that, farm those tables and chairs a little bit to get whatever extra wood. Go down here, get this chest. And then I go back, go out the door, farm a little bit of this, and then go back and get this fish chest. Now, from here, I go out and I get whatever floor loot is right over here. And the good thing about this drop is that right next to you, if you drop on this house, there's a upgrade bench. So what you can do is you can sideguard your charge to a pump, which is really good this season because... Like, why would you not want to sideguard your charge to a pump? So, yeah. Once I'm done looting this area, I rotate out to... I, I farm out whatever... Um, metal i can over here and then from there what i do is i rotate out to uh the triple chest on the brick the brick circle triple chest farm up my brick there then from there what i do is i go and open the chests if they have spawned and if i'm a little bit low on health i grab whatever mushrooms i require then after i'm done looting this area like completely done with the chests and everything i get back in my car or whatever rotation if i just use crash pads or if i'm just running i go to the bridge area and from there i farm up my uh, metal at the bridge and if I need I can loot the chest that's over there so yeah that's pretty much it for this drop spot on to the next one alright guys so for this next drop spot we got authority now this season authority does not have any henchman or any mythic item it has one henchman but that's it he really isn't a, any trouble so authority is really good because it's died down a little bit compared to last season in arena like people are gonna land here but it's not super contested so what you can do is and so what you can do is land here scout floor loot because it's so open that you can find a lot of floor loot and then what you want to do is go inside the buildings and collect whatever chests you can and the reason that authority is good is that you can farm up pretty much all the wood here you can get 500 wood while like walking out of here because there's so many wooden pallets around now because it's like deserted so there's so many wooden pallets that you can get 500 wood very easily and for brick you can just rotate out and find brick pretty much anywhere so what i would recommend is looting up authority getting in a boat and then uh, blowing up fishing holes so that you can find uh, a lot of fish because authority does have a ton of fishing holes so that's basically how you want to loot authority and then you can push risky frenzy or even salty if you want so yeah that's it for authority on to the next one 
Alright guys, so for the 4 drop spot, we got Homie Hills. This spot is really good as a solo drop spot and a trio drop spot, because it has enough loot for a trio and more than enough loot as a solo. And you can also get a Quinjet spot north of this house, and there's a, there's a rift also around here, I think it's like south or, uh, sorry, west of the house that I currently landed on. And there are also cars like east uh, of this house. So you can easily get max wood, brick, and metal walking out of here. Uh, all you gotta do is get in that rift and rotate to zone. You can even push uh, Doom's Domain or uh, just rotate really easily if you guys want to avoid fights and play for endgame. So yeah, that's pretty much what this spot is. I'm just gonna let you watch me loot it and show you where the rift is. And then after that, we're gonna go to the last spot. Alright guys, so for the last drop spot, we got Mega's Mansion. So this spot is like this kind of mansion that's overlooking the water. So the way you want to loot this is, check for the chest that spawns on top of the screen. So if it spawns, you want to land directly on it, loot it quickly, drop down, and pick up the floor loot that's on the truck. And then from there, what you can do is rotate inside the house and uh, get, there's like two more chests inside the house, I believe, and a bunch of floor loot. So one thing I recommend is if you are not contested and you don't and you get shields, then save those shields. Don't use them, okay? Because there's a slurp truck right down the road that you can go and easily break to get like a hundred uh, shield or whatever. If you got contested and you got into a fight, then pop your shields. But if you didn't, then what you want to do is go to that uh, slurp truck and get a uh, max max hp and then from there you can rotate out and uh push other players or you can go uh down uh you can go further out and uh, fish near the pond so that's basically it for this video if you guys enjoyed make sure you guys like and subscribe and uh yeah stay tuned for the next video peace